more and more companies are committed about being sustainable and the ESG agenda. But what if I told you it is all a scam? Well, corporations would typically say a few things. 1. We are powered by 100% renewable energy. Will be 100% renewable. Or 2. We are net zero carbon footprint or carbon neutral. To make Apple carbon neutral. But what does it all actually mean? Let's start with 100% renewable energy. Corporations have made the bold claims that their stores and their operations are running on 100% renewable energy. 100% renewable energy. Something that until today, even Tesla doesn't dare to claim. Tesla's Gigafactory, which is the closest thing to being self-sufficient by renewable energy, only claims to be net zero energy. Net zero energy means that they can generate the renewable energy they require but not during the time when they needed it. So they rely on fossil fuel from the transmission system at other times for overall supply consistency and supply security. Yet, other corporations are telling us that all their stores are now powered by 100% renewable energy. Are you telling me that your store on this random street is 100% renewable, but the store next door sharing the same upstream cables with you is not? Yup, just this store. This store is green. The neighbor stores is causing global warming for you guys. The green electrons will find its way to this green store and not to the other one. Full disclaimer, electrons don't behave like that. So where does this notion of we are 100% renewable energy come from? It comes down to something called green certificates. Corporations show these certificates as proof of their green energy commitment. They are like permission slips that allow companies to claim that they are using a renewable energy. But where do these certificates come from? Who made them? And do they even actually make a difference? Usually, a regulatory body under the government will issue these out. Yes, that's a great idea. The government is the least corrupt entity and the most trusted institution there is, right? Leaving aside the frauds and fake certificates, does green energy certification actually have a positive impact? The green certificates are linked to renewable sources that are already running and already generating. It does not directly contribute to building new renewable facilities. It is not like, I buy this certificate and tomorrow there's a new solar plant running and we reduce fossil fuel and the air will be slightly less polluted. The solar plant already exists whether the corporations decide to buy the certificate or not. It is already supplying green energy to the national grid, regardless if any green certificates are being produced along the way. Not that there's anything wrong with that. If capitalism demands the finished product, then it shall demand the finished product. No development process, no research, just green energy. If it doesn't make much environmental impact, then why do these corporations buy the green electrons and green certificates? Because it makes financial impact. Some small investments and you get to slap on the title of being green. No audits, no hassles, massive revenue. Good investment strategy, right? But in the end, their green image is nothing more than an illusion, designed to deceive consumers and investors. The next topic, carbon neutrality or net zero. Carbon neutral means that any CO2 released into the atmosphere from a company's activity is being balanced out by an equivalent amount of CO2 being removed somewhere. Basically, net zero is what you achieve by pretending that you can balance out continued emissions from burning coal or other stuff, just by buying a certificate that says that some trees exist somewhere. Net zero pledges also assume that there are no limits to compensate one's own emission with carbon removal. They ignore the fact that plants need time to grow. It's not like buy a credit now and additional CO2 is removed from the atmosphere instantly. While on the other hand, cutting fossil fuel emissions has immediate CO2 impact. Also, buying carbon credits for plants and trees that already exist isn't really changing anything at all. You need to be planting new trees, not buying credits from existing trees. Therefore, net zero is good enough for greenwashing, but not actually what the planet needs. Also, net zero in the current context is a scam. Like, these companies claim that emissions in the rich world can be cancelled out by buying credits from a project that removes carbon in the atmosphere in some other parts of the world, often in the poorer parts of the world. Buying carbon credits on some forest somewhere else so they can claim to be net zero is like asking some other person to take a diet pill for you to lose weight, instead of going to the gym yourself. And eat some salad. Eat some salad. 
Wait, does eating salad actually reduces plants that will capture the carbon in the atmosphere? Are we actually fighting the wrong enemy here, guys? Never mind that, ignore that part, let's go do the work yourself. Not buy some carbon credits or some certificates. Practice energy efficiency and make the lifestyle change. Just do it! In fact, carbon credits may ultimately worsen the climate crisis altogether especially when carbon offsets are being used to delay action and tangible regulations that will actually reduce emissions. It reduces the sense of urgency just by buying some credits. While it is good that corporations are looking to being more sustainable, but let's not use the ESG phrase and just slap it onto anything to the point where it loses all meaning. Like, if you declare yourself 100% renewable energy now, on a barely legitimate basis, what are you going to say when you actually manage to achieve the real 100% renewable energy? In fact, we're now 100% renewable in 23 countries around the world. It is high time sustainability actually means something. Instead of just relying on certificates and credits, do the real and tangible actions. The best time to plant a tree was 10 years ago. The second best time to plant a tree is right now. You're watching the Funsi channel. Do, 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 do.